all right guys this is gold and the 15 minute chart as we discussed yesterday i think uh somewhere here was price and i drawn a uh, resistance line by connecting most recent swing point have you seen this one this one and this one so yesterday when i think price was somewhere here when i create uh, created this video so at that time i thought we are looking for a breakout right so there was two opportunity uh, there was two buy opportunity was there because every time frame price was running and the price is running in a range like that uh, let me draw properly so in a daily chart we have seen price is running in a range like that uh, that is 1000 range and here another one middle one so like that and you can see price is running like that in a daily chart or you can say large time frame like that so yesterday price is here some uh, somewhere here all right let me remove a little more because uh, uh, just a minute okay yeah uh, somewhere here all right uh, here you can see this one so I told that uh, I was looking for buy and my target is somewhere here so at that time my target was here somewhere around three eight two six seven exactly here and uh, the price was here and daily time time it should like look uh, look like here and prices prices in this area so I I told that I'm looking for a breakout or retracement so I given a two buy opportunity one when price will retrace toward this moving average 200 so but they fail to retrace toward this level and the next opportunity uh, we are looking for a breakout so I drawn a resistance line by connecting uh, most recent swing high point here was most recent swing high here was recent swing high and somewhere here was so we are you are uh, we was looking for a breakout so next you can see we have seen there was a breakout candle and we place buy order a little more above in this area and my target was here so you can see i think uh, i got almost 60 to 70 point was there my target was something like yeah uh, i closed my position i think 70 just a minute 60 some uh, 67 or something point was a little more higher from this area here you can see something i did uh, yeah triggered my uh, here in this area because i always place little more below at least uh, 30 to uh, 40 point in gold all right uh, below my target so they triggered my target so why i thought let me tell you so let's just jump to daily chart so first you can see this is a daily chart and the price is running in this range so as i discussed like that price is running in this range like that here right so in that case price was here just a minute yesterday price was here so we was looking for buy and you can see target uh, a shift here so next you can see they are targeting toward this area so because trend is running in this range all right this is our trading range so they are targeting in this range so i told if they break this level so i'll continue buy up to this level around three eight five uh, nine ninety almost so that is our next target so let me show you in a four hour chart how it should look like that in a four hour you can see uh, breakout we have seen a breakout in this area right just open uh, above this resistance line so we are looking for buy up to this level all right and, uh, let's see uh, one hour chart so now you can see price is running uh, in an uptrend so question is that most of the people are thinking can i buy right now here answer is no why because right now you can see price is over both zone and uh, price are too far from moving average 
uh, I can see uh, this is 7 and this is 20. So price is too, when price is too far from moving average 20 or 7, we never gonna take buy because it is a probability to retrace again near uh, moving averages. So let me show you uh, which moving averages are comfortable right now. If you wanna see the previous market behavior, here you can see price are following moving average 7. This is called hugging, right? Have you seen? Right, just uh, hit the moving average and push up, hit, push up, hit, push up, right? You can say, uh, now price are hugging moving average 7. All right, so that is why we are looking for retrace toward this moving average. So once they retrace, so definitely we will start buying. Now question is that where is the moving average 7? So exactly we have seen this moving average are near this supporting line right now. Alright. So that is why we are looking for retraced, a retrace near uh, 7 moving average. Alright. Let me show you in a 15 minute chart how it should look like that. Now similarly you can see 15 minute chart uh, there are 20 moving average because most of the time are bouncing from moving average 20 have you seen in 15 minutes price retrace bounce retrace near 20 moving average bounce so now we can see price is too far from moving average uh, 20 so that is why i am not interested to take buy in this area so i am looking for a retracement toward this moving average and that is my buy opportunity all right that is our buy opportunity all right and when you will place your buy you place your sl just below by using a tier or candlestick pattern all right so suppose uh, how uh, how you will place your sl suppose here we have seen some dozy pattern are forming in this area right and at that time we have seen buy opportunity suppose you when i enter buy above this candle and place your SL just below this candle all right and the target uh, set your target more higher point or almost same in this area that is that will be your target all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching